On today's episode, I want to show you some of the tools that I use and find very helpful when working with 3D printers. We're right here at Film a Friday. Film a Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Many of these tools are available in one kit. It's called the Filament Friday Toolkit. You can get it now on Amazon. It was out of stock for a long time. It's back in stock. But there's some other tools that aren't part of this that I find really useful as well. And the first one is a heat gun. Sometimes your prints can have a little bit of stringing left over like this. Well, just point the heat gun at them and just blow them away. It'll shrink them down to a little bit of plastic, which you can break away by just rubbing your thumb over it. And now you have a clean print. Another place where a heat gun is handy is when you're trying to get rid of a blob like this. Even heating the nozzle can't get it off, so you heat it with the heat gun and then you can pull it away and even get into the tight regions. Another tool I recommend are brushes. You get three of them in the Filament Friday Toolkit. You get a plastic, a stainless steel, and a brass brush. This brass one is great for cleaning the nozzle. After using the heat gun, while it's still hot, get in there with the brass brush and you can clean this thing right off, get rid of all that excess. Another tool I recommend, and this is not part of the Filament Friday Toolkit, maybe in the future, is a thumb ratchet with a 6 millimeter socket, especially if you're working with Creality or Creality clones. This 6 millimeter will fit the nozzles. And this is ratcheting, so it'll go either way. Just flip the lever so you can tighten it or loosen it with this little handy tool. It's pretty heavy, but you can really crank on it and get those nozzles loose. Just heat the hot end up, twist this, and you can take that nozzle right out. Another tool I recommend that is part of the Filament Friday Toolkit is a painter's knife. This short, stubby, rounded, very, very thin painter's knife is great for getting underneath prints and popping them off. I don't care how tight the print is, you can usually find a spot that this will fit under and slide under and lift that thing right off the bed. Another tool I recommend, which is part of the Filament Friday Toolkit, is a hobby knife. And we have one with a bunch of blades included and a really nice metal handle. I use this all the time for cleaning up prints, and if you have to cut something, we also include a very thick cutting board, the Filament Friday cutting mat. So all this is included in the Filament Friday toolkit. A few other common tools that we include in the kit are a side cutter. I know you probably got some with your printer, but you can never have enough of these. And also a needle nose pliers, very, very handy. We also include a small file for cleaning edges of prints and stuff, nice to have. A new thing to the Filament Friday toolkit is this, needle nose tweezers. Very handy for getting that filament right off the nozzle or getting to little spots and pulling the strings out. Another tool I recommend are these little round brushes. They're great for getting in here and cleaning the vents on your fan. Your fan will pull in all kinds of junk and block it here if it gets too hot. You're going to clog your PTFE tube because it's not cooling well enough. you got to keep this clean and these brushes are great for getting in there and cleaning the vents and actually pulling the stuff out of the fan. Very handy. These are now part of the Filament Friday Toolkit. We also include some nozzle cleaners. There's a .2, a .4, and a .6 nozzle cleaner. And we put them all on a little ring so you can't lose them. Another tool I recommend is a digital caliper. Now we include a low cost one in the Filament Friday Toolkit. It's only .1 resolution accuracy, but it's perfect for measuring a CHEP cube or measuring 100 millimeters when you're calibrating E-steps. But when you want to find the accuracy of your prints, then you're going to need a little more accurate caliper. So get a second one. This is one tool I recommend you upgrade from the toolkit. Get a second caliper. They're really not that expensive. And then you can really measure the accuracy of your 3D prints. The last tool I want to mention is one of my favorite tools. It's a deburring tool. I've called it a finishing tool in the past because I use it to finish my 3D prints. It's got a pivoting knife blade and there's extra blades inside. And you use this to clean the edges of a 3D print or get inside a circle. Because it's pivoting, it'll get right inside the circle and clean that whole edge. It is so handy. This is actually my favorite tool, and it is part of the Filament Friday Toolkit. Another thing we include in the kit, which really isn't a tool, but man is it handy, is a glue stick. I use the Avery Permanent Glue Stick. Now, it's not permanent. It washes off with water, but one swipe of this on your bed, and your prints will stick. If you get your bed perfectly leveled and you still can't get the prints to stick, give it one swipe of the Avery glue stick and I'm telling you, you'll have no more problems. And when you want to get that glue off, a warm wet rag will wash it right off and put your print under water, it'll rinse the glue right off, it'll dissolve. So Avery glue stick is what I recommend. We include a sample for that reason. The most expensive tool I mentioned is the heat gun. Everything else you can pick up individually, 
pretty cheap. You don't have to buy the Filament Friday toolkit. It does help the channel if you do, but you don't have to. You can get any of these things individually, including the ratchet. So I'll put a link to all this in the description below so you can find it yourself. If you've got a tool that you highly recommend that someone use for 3D printing, let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. And if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.